Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Okay, so tonight we have our first Mad and Mac bubble bar, and this one is the Mummy Misfit bubble bar. This one smells like blackberry and blueberry wine fizz. She's so cute, but she's a little bit sad at the same time because she is a misfit. Also, she might be a little sad because she knows that she's fixing to go on the cutting board. <laughs> I hate to do it because she's so absolutely adorable. But, you know, she's going to go in the bath and she's going for a good cause because I think she's going to be really awesome. And, you know, it's Halloween and we've got to do what we've got to do. But she's absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to use her. She smells fruity and very berry-like and I do smell the fizz undertone too. So I really can't wait to use this bubble bar and I think that it's going to just be huge when I cut it up and it's going to make a whole lot of bubbles. So um, say goodbye to Mummy Misfit because she's fixing to go get chopped up. Um, let's get started and then we're going to pop her in the bath and see how many bubbles she makes. All right, so Mummy Misfit and I have made it into the bathroom, and what I'm gonna try and do is set my tripod up, and we're gonna move her over to the strainer. Probably not all of her, she's really big and really dense, so probably um, half, I would say, definitely half. And I've run a little bit of water in the tub, but um, that's all I think I need to go ahead and start out with, so I think she's so cute, look at her. So we're definitely gonna keep those eyeballs. Okay, so let me go ahead and get that set up and we'll be back in a sec.
Okay, so our Mummy Misfit bubble bath is ready to go. Now, I don't know who I was kidding about keeping those eyes because they are just way, way too cute. And I decided that she was going to go down with the ship. So let's go ahead and get the water turned on and see what she can do. So go ahead and turn the volume down because it's going to be a little bit louder. Now, you, you guys saw that I used half, but maybe a little bit more than half. I love this little sort of green for Halloween too. Love it. It's a bright neon green. Now, so if I just let my water go like that, I would have a ridiculous amount of bubbles and obviously so would you at home. You could get four or five baths out of this bubble bar easy and that's what I intend to do with my last half. So I'm not going to let the water run much longer past the jets because that would be just way too much water and too many bubbles. So I'm going to let the water get up past the jets and then we're going to turn them on and see what this thing can do in the jetted tub. So I've got a little bit more water in the tub but not too much and as you can tell just filling up the water a little bit more I did get more bubbles around where the water was coming in but um, I went ahead and stopped that because I don't want to get too many because we're fixing to turn these on and see what we're gonna get oh the green is so cool we're not gonna be able to see the green for very long because it's gonna disappear but the green is really really cool looking and obviously this bath is just going to be for soaking purposes <laughs> we're not going to really be able to do much in it because 
the water to bubble ratio in here is just, it's crazy. But I do this for you guys. Of course I'm gonna enjoy the bath. So this is just really fun. This is a fun demonstration of what this bubble bar can do. When pushed to the limits, let's say, how much water was in the tub not much so let's cut through these let's pass the faucet that's so awesome oh my gosh that is gonna be so much fun oh wow <laughs> oh I love it I love it I love it now it's crazy too. I've got to let these die down just a little. And bubble bars with bubbles like these, these just really, they don't pop and go down a lot, but I need to try and let them go down because when I sit in this, they're gonna rise and rise and rise even more. And like I said, there's not so much water in there um, to where there's gonna be much more for me to sit in but bubbles. And obviously I'm not gonna turn the jets on anymore when I get in there either. So I'm really just gonna be sitting in a tub of bubbles um, with a little water in the bottom, but that is, that's fine. That's going to be, it's very sensory. It's really, really awesome. Um, and when I do go to take a bubble bath, when I'm not demoing one for you guys, I do put less bubbles in it and more water, but this is just, it's really going to be fun to, to play in. And, um, I think this is obviously a great bubble bar and the watercolor is awesome too. So it's, Hard to tell you guys as far as maybe what the moisture content is like because it really just is all bubbles, but um, I think this is great. I think this is great. Thumbs up. Okay, so I will see you guys back here next time. The reason I don't do kind of like a closing on the bubble bars is because even when I get out of the tub, it's going to take a good, good while. You can't really rinse these out of the tub. You can, but then you'll even create more bubbles. They have, it takes, it takes hours for these actually to die down and pop because they are so dense. So I just don't go back and film a closing. There's never really any residue or anything like that with bubble bars. So I wouldn't worry about that. So anyway, I will have all of Mad and Max links listed down below. And she also has a coupon code, which is awesome. And I will have that already put in the video. So you will definitely be able to see that too. And that's awesome. I really appreciate that. So her stuff is awesome. She's got a lot of cool Halloween stuff too. So um, I just, I can't wait to hop in here. So I'm kind of distracted with all these bubbles because I'm just feeling them and they're just, they're so soft and awesome. So, um, and I've also got half of this bubble bar left. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys like this demo. Let me know down at the bottom and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.